antique cars can be worth a fortune, but a Polk County couple's quest to restore and upgrade a 1923 Model T they inherited turned into a bit of a nightmare. They say the repairs dragged on for years, and then suddenly they learned the repair shop they hired stopped answering messages and abruptly closed. When they located the car at the same building, they say they got a runaround getting it back, too. And that's when they knew they'd better call Bacon, and Shannon is getting results. Jen Keith, getting this car back took a lot of convincing, and it was an emotional roller coaster for the owners who needed my help. But just hours after I got involved, that car was back in the driveway where it belongs. And this is the day we brought it home. This 1923 Model T means a lot to Stephanie and Hannibal Snipes. Generations of their family enjoyed it, and when Hannibal's father passed away, they hired the rod shop of Central Florida to give it a fresh look. You can see here, the car was running back then in 2021. We'd like to have the upholstery redone, kind of keeping the same interior look, um, a new windshield and a seat on the back. They paid $4,000 toward the estimated 10 grand and say owner Rupert Toledo told them it would take six months to a year, but they say COVID related delays and a slew of excuses came next. Years later, he tells us that he sold the shop and he would be, he had to be vacated with all of his, his equipment by October 1st of 2023. Said that he would deliver the car to us in the current state before October 1st. That didn't happen. And then he stopped returning messages. And they say new shop owners who rent the building from Toledo first told them the car wasn't there. When they found the car dismantled in a back bay, as shown in this picture. He told us to get an attorney. They had a better idea. They called Better Call Bankin. It should be at my place now that I can enjoy my grandkids and my kids and my kids can enjoy with their kids. I went to the new shop myself and at first was also told the car wasn't there. No, no, then no, things no, got no, complicated. No. The owners of the new shop changed their minds and said Hannibal could get the car. Over the next several hours, we waited in the sun and watched the tow truck come and then leave multiple times as they changed their mind. A man who refused to give me his name but said he was the co-owner explained that Rupert put him in a bad spot. The man has the car hostage. Seven but months you a year. thought you could let him have it, and now you decided not to. Too bad. He's not getting a car back. It's not my car. He pondered this and then changed his mind again after Hannibal said this. And you're saying that at good faith, you're going to give me my car right now. So we can get a tow truck here and get my car based on your good faith of this car, new car company here. Sounds good to me. And with that, the tow truck came back a final time, collected what's left of the car, and took it back to the Snipes home. We've been trying to get it back for over three months, and then you get it back in three hours. How amazing is that? I want to speak with the original shop owner, Rupert Toledo. I left him a message, but he has not returned my call. He didn't answer the phone for the new shop owner either. I did see online, though, that he's advertising other remodeled cars. The Snipes tell me they're just happy that this is all over, and they're very thankful that the new shop owners helped them out. Well, it is good, and, and, and it's good that you got involved because obviously that made a difference, but this is only stage one because they still got to deal with this car that mm -hmm. they got back. It, it's still got some work to go. And it was disappointing for them to see yeah. the car and what it looks like now. As you can see there with the video that we showed, the car actually looks worse than when they dropped it off, and the interior is missing completely. The Snipes still say that they want to restore this car, though, for the sentimental value. So now they're looking into suggestions for other shops to look into it, and hopefully they'll get that car back on the road soon so their grandkids can enjoy it, because that's the dream. That's the dream. All right, thank you, mm -hmm. Shannon. Appreciate it. And if you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bank in the one 855 banking or you can reach her on Facebook at WFLH.